Hi, I'm Alan with Interview Success Formula. So you want to be prepared for the questions in your upcoming STAR interview and avoid those critical mistakes that can cost you the job. Well, let's dive into what questions you can expect. Now, quick note, this presentation is not just going to give you a long laundry list of questions. While you will see some example questions, this is designed to teach you how you can identify the right questions that will be asked in your interview ahead of time. All right, so first, a quick review of what the STAR interview method is. STAR is an acronym that stands for Situation, Task, Action, Result. This method of interviewing requires you to give your answers in the form of a story. And when you do this right, your well-structured story proves that you have the experiences to do the job. All right, so now back to the questions that you can expect to be asked. Because story answers take longer, you are likely to be asked a lot fewer questions in that interview with the STAR method, sometimes totaling something like four to six. And with fewer total questions, each one must address a critical skill required for the job. Now, typical questions include, tell me about your biggest accomplishment. Tell me about your time you failed and how you overcame it. Describe a situation where you worked on a team. There are many other possibilities, perhaps hundreds. Yet, it can be easy for you to anticipate the questions that you'll be asked. All you need to do is first review the job description, then determine which skills and abilities are most essential to doing this job, which actually can be pretty easy when you do this right. All right, so let's do an example. Say I'm interviewing to be a project manager in a deadline-driven environment. So the hiring organization will want to know about my leadership skills, decision-making skills, ability to perform under pressure, ability to meet deadlines, and of course, my people skills. So the questions I can then expect in my STAR interview will ask me to prove that I have these desired skills. So they would be something like, Tell me about your most successful project. Tell me about a time when you had to make a difficult decision quickly. Describe a situation where you faced a lot of pressure and still met the deadline. Describe an experience where one of the members of your team wasn't performing and how you got them back on track. As you can see, all these questions are just asking me about the required skills to do this job well. Only they begin with, tell me about a time when, or describe a situation where. So the key step is to really understand the position and what the organization wants. Now, these questions can be framed both positively or negatively. Positive one being, tell me about a time succeeded, or negatively, tell me about a mistake. So when you think about the skills, you'll have to think about both positive and negative versions of the question. So what kind of broad topics can you generally expect to be covered in an interview? Well, they include dealing with a customer or patient or a client or a student, working on a team, either as the leader of that team or as a member of the team, how you deliver results, complete projects or assignments, applying certain technical skills like Microsoft Excel, AutoCAD, using a scientific instrument, applying certain soft skills, whether those are people skills, analytical thinking, or other intangibles, performing well in a certain environment, be that high pressure, multiple projects, without having clear instructions. So one major key to success is to think about the questions that are most likely to be asked for your position based on these categories, and then focus your time and energy preparing stories for these categories.